is up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. If you guys are new here, haven't seen my face before, what's up? My name is Murda and uh, yeah, we do lots of like fishing and hunting and like camping and pretty much anything outdoors. So do me a favor, if you guys enjoy this video, at the end of it, smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more awesome videos like this one. Anyways y'all, I'm sure you can read the title down below. We are doing a little, well, we're doing a little catch and cook today. Right now I'm actually waiting for my brother Ryan. He is coming to pick me up at my house and we're going to meet my cousin Brett to hopefully go catch some, some panfish, specifically crappies. But before Ryan picks me up, I want to let you guys know that this episode is sponsored by Shore Lunch. If any of y'all are subscribed and have seen any of my past catch and cooks, then you already know that I have been using this brand, Shore Lunch, for like forever. I've probably made 50 videos using this exact package right here, Cajun Shore Lunch. This is my favorite brand of fish batter. If you guys haven't heard of Shore Lunch, I highly recommend you checking it out. It is absolutely delicious, but let's be honest, if you're a fisherman and you cook fish, you've, you've probably used it before. Once again, huge shout out to Shore Lunch, and uh, my brother should be here like any minute, so I'm gonna get all my stuff next to the door. Let's get on the road. We only have like a 15 minute drive. officially made it. I'm just gonna start fishing. Everyone's uh, drilling holes, so yeah, stay tuned. We got the chassis strapped on. Let's catch some crappies so we can successfully do this catching cook. All right, bro amigos. First hole of the day. Let's get some freaky, oh, this is looking good. We're fishing nine feet, by the way, and I think we're just fishing like somewhat of a weed bed in this little little bay that we're in right now. And I'm thinking these are weeds. I thought they were suspended fish, but they're weeds. And since we are fishing so shallow, I'm gonna hop around and kinda, kinda look for something before I uh, stick to a hole for too long. Dang, son, crabby. Crabby? It's gotta be. Crapola, that's a good one. Harvest. How high bottom was he, Ray? He was right on bottom. Right on bottom. Well, I was marking a few right here. I'm gonna go hang out right here. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Not a crappie. What is this? No, it ain't. Big crappie? It's a bass. No, it's a bass. It'd be cool if it was a crappie. But it's a pike. <laughs> God dang it. Dude, that's low key kind of a cool looking pike. It's like really pretty. Should I eat this sucker? Catch and cook pike? Nah, we're gonna let this little hammer handle go. Even though you guys always get mad at me for letting these go. But I don't like cleaning them. Whoa, okay. Come on, buddy. <laughs> cool. Got the skunk out of the boat anyways. We got a fish. Now we have to catch a crappy. Here you go, sir. Whoa, those are nice. I want I want those. <laughs> No, no. Come on, do it. How, oh yeah. Sick. Shut up, Ryan. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be a bike. Another bikey. It almost feels like a bass. Oh. Huh? Oh man, there are muskies here, huh? That'd be sick. There's probably a pike. Yep, pikey. Fat little pikey schmikey. Oh my god, I can't believe 
You didn't break me off. Oh, okay. Hooked right in the lip. There we go. Fat little pikey. Not bad at all. Oh, come on, bud. Okay, time to move holes. Bluegill? Uh -huh. Oh, there's just one on me. Are you serious? This is a crappie. It's a nice, okay, maybe not. Not a crappie. Are you serious? Dude, I can't catch a freaking crappie. Another pike. Like, are you kidding me? Dude, I've gotten three pike. It's the only thing I've gotten. Three go pike. Same one. Go through them in a different hole. <laughs> go through them in a different hole. All right, guys. Well, this side of the lake, as you can see, is not producing too well. Ryan's gotten three, me and Brett haven't gotten anything worth a crap. We're gonna move to the other side. Stay tuned. Spot number three. I don't know why the crappies wouldn't just go up to the shallow up there either though. Mm -hmm. There's nice weeds Last up there. Right. All right guys, we're about to make our way back to spot number one. Fishing's been tough. Oh my God, no way. This crappie, crappie, crappie. Come on, just do it. Got him. Crappie. This has to be a crappie. Crappie. And we're not gonna starve. Let's go. All right, guys. What are we doing, Ryan? I'm hungry. I'm ready to wrap it up. I'm soaked. enough for a good meal yeah good thing ryan caught five you kept four crappies and i got one so i think we're gonna end the fishing part of this video here i wish i caught more crappies but just couldn't make it happen we got some pike though so that's kind of cool but yeah we're gonna get back on the road and we will see you back at fishing more headquarters dude look at the mullet all right guys we are back at the fish and more headquarters we had to go to i don't know if i mentioned it but we had to go to the grocery store and get a bunch of seasonings and stuff for the fish tacos but anyways while ryan is making the super secret sauce uh i'm gonna flay these fish stay tuned i'm gonna, I'm gonna break out the big camera all right guys first crappie of the day i am going to start with a regular fillet knife but if this ends up taking too long i am probably gonna switch to electric but I'm gonna start my first incision right here. Oh, you can't really see right there. I'm just gonna come straight down till about here. Then I kind of curve the fish. Go till I hit that bone right there. And I'm just going to follow the, what's this bone? Backbone? backbone? I'm just gonna follow the backbone all the way down. And then when Murray's done, I'll show you how I do it. What? Yeah. Did he? You need more fish I've cleaned than you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at cleaning fish. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm not sh That's all right. What do you mean? That'll it's pass. One more time, I'm gonna give you guys a close, in-depth look at how, how I clean crappies. So I go under this fin here, go straight down pretty much. Then I kind of curve up just to follow the crappie's head. I literally just take my knife, try to run it as straight as possible all the way down that backbone. Then I stop like right here, right at the back of this fin. And I just push it all the way through so that it's sticking, just so that it's sticking like right to the top of this fin or just close to this fin. Then just run the blade down the tail. And then I don't even like look most of the part, most of the time for this part. I just kind of cut, cut straight in until I kind of feel the rib cage. So then I pick up the fish and I almost rip the meat off the rib cage a little bit until, well, I kind of stick the knife usually right here and then break through there. And then I just kind of keep doing that and just follow that rib cage until I get to about here. I stick my knife in and just push out and shebang. That's pretty decent. Then really quick, before I do this side, I'll just show you how I skin it. I put a little slit right here, 
just so I can grab onto it. That's the only reason I do that. And then, you just press down, angle the blade, kind of like, uh, what angle would that be? Like a 25 degree angle? I don't know, I could be wrong. But you just want to, you want to press hard. And there we go. Here's just got the fish all cleaned and uh, washed off. Ryan, what kind of batter are you feeling? Oh, you know. Cajun? I always like the old Cajun. Looks like we are cutting these into strips also. We kind of forgot to do that. We, you definitely want them in strips for tacos. Next step, dudes. Got a rip open for sure lunch. We're just gonna grab ourselves a baggie and dump that whole thing for sure lunch in there. Okay, you want me to batter these now? Might as well. Yeah, they can. You want to get some grease rolling? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now we just have to do that. Ten more times. Next step, you just have to wait for that to heat up. Stay tuned. I don't know. Are you ready, Are Ryan? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Kevin! Are we? Here, catch it. Here, good catch. Good catch. Checking it? Yeah. In case you guys didn't know that, to check your grease, you take a little bit of the shore lunch. Or you just go like this. Yeah, or you just, it's, it's ready. Uh, no, that's ready, bud. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> it's already smelling delicious. All right, while he is cooking that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients ready. First batch is done. And this is what we're rocking for the fish tacos. We just got some flour tortillas. Over here, we got some fresh pico. Pico? Pico. Mm -hmm. Crazy fresh, that's the brand. This is, this is pretty good stuff here. Then we just got some shredded lettuce. And then this is, this is the masterpiece. This is what makes the whole taco the secret fish sauce. And then obviously the fish. Is it ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get her going, guys. I'm gonna grab myself a full of flour tortilla. I'll show you guys. Show you guys how it's done quick. So first things first, grab yourself some fish. Next, we're gonna rip some lettuce. Next, we gotta put the panko on. Pico, panko? Pico. Pico. I'm just gonna call it panko, cause... No, cause there's panko bread. Oh my God, I don't even care. So here's the key. You may think you just want a little bit of this sauce, but you don't. You want a lot, a lot of sauce. Like that's not even enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more. Right there. You want it oozing out basically every bite you take. Right, Ryan? Mm hmm Like, no, no cap. We're not even kidding. Yeah. The more the better. It's that good. All right, first bite. Catch a glimpse of that warlock. It's really hot, but it's really good. Ryan, we crushed these. I can't even talk to you guys right now. Hands down, best fish tacos in the entire world. Like, I'd put these up to anybody's fish taco sauce. No fooling. When Murray hits 100K, I'll give out the secret sauce recipe. No way. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am about to absolutely house, like, five of those things, but I think we are going to end the video here. Once again, dudes, Ryan? Huge shout out to Shore Lunch for sponsoring this video. Uh, once again, if you guys have seen like any of my catch and cook videos, you've probably seen me use this like a hundred times. So yeah, really pumped to partner up with Shore Lunch for this video. Shout out Ryan for helping us catch the fish and cook the fish today. Shout out Brett, cousin Brett also for helping us get on some fish today, excuse me. But yeah, if you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button. New merch, if you guys haven't copped any yet, go check that out. And I guess all that's left to say, dudes, is you gotta start fishing more. Ryan, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it.